When you're writing, use consistent voice, mood, and tenses. Louis Lamour said, start writing no matter what. The water does not flow until the faucet is turned on. But once the water is on, you want to make sure it's a good flow. And the way to accomplish that is to be consistent in your writing. So if you end your sentences with the same mood, voice and tense that you start them with, the battle is already won. Here, let me give you uh, some examples. For example, using consistent voice. If you start with active voice, end with active voice or vice versa. Very simple. Here's a sentence that violates this principle. I'd like to complain, active voice, but I'm not allowed to criticize the coach, ends in passive voice. Much better, I'd like to complain, but the club rules don't allow me to criticize the coach. Both are in active voice. Use a consistent mood. Stick to the same mood from one clause to another or start a new sentence. For example, work hard is an imperative mood and that's how you'll become successful. Indicative mood. Much better. Work hard and achieve success. Both clauses are in imperative mood. Or work hard, imperative period and start a new sentence. That's the formula for success, which is indicative. Use consistent tense. Don't go time traveling from one clause to another. For example, she was just minding her business, past tense, but this guy starts yelling at her, which is present tense. Better, she was just minding her business, but this guy started to yell at her. Both are in past tense. What happens in Vegas stayed in Vegas. Present and past tense is mixed up. The correct way of saying the same thing is, of course, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Both in present tense. Another example. When I need you, I'll let you know, Harlan said. Jake insists for an explanation. Past and present tenses mixed up. Better one. When I need you, I'll let you know, Harlan says. Jake insists for an explanation. Both present tense. Or, when I need you, I'll let you know, Harlan said. Past tense. Jake insisted for an explanation. Also in past tense. I'll leave you with that and hope to see you in our next video. Take good care.